I really like this cloak that I have. I think it's really pretty. And yeah, we're gonna go out and, you know, eat out. So it's gonna be fun. I'll see you guys later. So this is the look for today. I mean, what do we think? I think it's giving cold girl makeup. Um, I couldn't put my contacts on, but I am wearing my eyeglasses, which I think adds character to like my makeup and face um it kind of looks like i overlined overlined my lips but um it just looks like, okay yeah <laughs> well i was doing my makeup in very dim lighting and i couldn't really see that well but um i'm gonna fix that up later but right now i'm i just want to eat you know because i'm hungry so i'll see you guys later so i just clipped my clip on my purse because I didn't end up wearing it on my hair. I just want to let my hair go free. And so yeah, there you go. I think it's really cute. Getting that one. Yeah, the hand batter to the crisp first. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I'm currently looking for inspiration for my room because I was thinking to like redo it and I really want something different like something something kind of like this but at the same time i also want a bit of like pop of colors and also really want like a office in my like like a home office not really sure if i could have all of that or just like an ordinary desk and like put everything um that i need for like work and college but, like something like this i feel like would be really nice for my room but at the same time i wouldn't want my table against the wall i would want my table facing like the entrance or something like this so when you walk in you get to see like whoever is coming into your room so i would want my table in the middle of the room but right now i think it's going to be up against the wall which is you know fine but um yeah i really i really like this like whole setup here with like the table and like my computer or like a laptop and like maybe a keyboard and like a candle and you know get some acrylic pen holders i was actually looking for a table from ikea and um i was looking at youtube videos about like setup for like working from home and like college i was looking at some tables for that but i also really like this table with like the brown wooden top and like the plants and like the dual monitors but i also really like the setup too I also really like that one um very simple but i just feel like the table is way too small for me um if ever i would have a table i would want it to be long and wide so i can like stretch my arms when i'm writing my notes on my notebook and like i have like any space to like stretch towards that would be really cool um let's see i also really like this one this one would be like ideal for me because um you would have like a table at the side where you can have a lot of space to put your papers your documents your like candles your stationery and you would have like this main table with your like monitor and your laptop and etc 
and you have a lot of space still. It would be like a very great like home office. So befitting to home office. So I have to write another essay. Um, I actually wrote and finished an essay this week and I submitted it and I got a really good grade with uh, uh, can I talk and I got a really good grade which I was very like grateful for and I was like really impressed on myself because I every time I you know submit an essay like I wouldn't really think that I would make like a good grade with it because like I love writing and I feel like whenever I write for like whenever I write like an academic essay i'm not really good at it and but you know it was really fun it was really it was really nice to practice those like writing muscles when it comes to like academia but um i was really i was really shocked that i got like a good grade like it's a really good grade with that essay and um yeah i was very much inspired to you know start writing the next one so this essay it's the last essay that I'm going to be writing this week. And I'm really excited and thrilled to, um, you know, start writing it and hopefully submit it by the end of the week. And um, actually, whenever I write a huge essay, I write like I plan it with like a mind map. And um, the main idea is centered in the middle of the page and you branch out to other ideas with other circles around the page and uh, and then you branch out to other ideas and then to like subtopics after subtopics and i feel like that's just a really great way to um really uh you know highlight your main idea and organize your thoughts and however you want to format that into paragraphs and um so yeah, hopefully I can finish that finish that essay as soon as possible so I can move on to my next essay. So yeah, let's get started. A little bit off topic, but whenever I'm like writing an essay or just writing in general, journaling or like doing my work, I actually listen to a podcast or if I'm not listening to a podcast, I would be listening to Folklore. I listen to any Taylor Swift songs, but like Folklore is probably one of my favorite albums out there when I, whenever I have to like, you know, do some work. But there's this podcast called Novel Pairings, and I'm someone who loves reading books. I haven't been able to read a lot of books these days because I just haven't had like the time for it. But yeah, I usually get my book recommendations through this podcast, and I discover new books and like, just new authors through this podcast and um yes they're very funny and they talk about any new releases for the fall time and also like summer and they talk about just any books that they're reading and it's it's like a it's like a book club sometimes when, whenever they talk about books um sometimes they talk about like book club books as well so it's really funny and um yeah 